Hey everybody, uh, Old Mook here. Uh, I'm about to get into a new video for you guys. I'm going to do my first MTG vid. It's going to be an intro deck alter, so uh, let me know what you think when you are done watching this. Uh, I've been trying to come up with new ideas. Um, MTG, Magic the Gathering, has become a huge hobby of mine, kind of taken over video games in a slight, slight bit, if you will. Um, so yeah, I'm going to check out this intro deck called Take to the Skies from Origins and I plan to do one for the the rally deck from uh, Battle for Zendikar next so let me know what you think I hope you all enjoy alright so what you're looking at right now is the deck right out of the box and uh, it's pretty bad right out of the box to be completely honest so I, I realized when I put it back together the way it was, how much I had actually changed this thing, and it's pretty substantial, so as much as it is an alter, it's more like a complete change. <laughs> but it still has the base of everything that it went with. So, let's start off by basically saying what we're going to keep. Anything that's decent, I mean, these guys were good. Some thunderclap waverns, uh, flash flying, other creatures control, with flying get 1-1. One, one. So we're going to bump those up. I already have uh, everything pre-made. Yeah, so I bumped those up to four. Now we're at four of this guy right here. And obviously we can just take these two guys out and bring them in. And then from there, obviously we're going to take out both of those. So I made this whole deck a flying deck and uh, people seem to have very little answers to it. <coughs> I like the fairies over there, so I added one more of those. And those, uh, I can't seem to find my other fairy over here. Yeah, I added a fourth fairy. Took out these single starfish. This guy. This guy actually liked Tower Geist. It's too expensive for what he does. If he had more power, I'd almost consider keeping it. But he came out as well. Anything you see that's not in sleeves is coming out. Nivix Barrier, Flash, Defender, not too good, not too bad. If you don't have options, this is one you can leave in simply for the Flash and Defender. Flash is always nice. The Tower Geist you could leave in too if you don't have the right things to bump it up. And it's automatically start. My land totals when I ended up adjusting are got seven planes, eight islands. Added four tranquil coves. Added a blighted steep from Zendikar. Uh, sac it's uh, add one colorless or tap three colorless in a planes tap it sacrifice it you gain two life for each creature you control it's a nice little addition to have I believe that brought, I believe that brought our land total to 22 well that's only 20 that don't make no sense that is because <laughs> I also have Skyline Cascade in here from Zendikar, and that one is uh, when it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent, control, opponent controls doesn't untap during its next untap step. Comes in tapped at a at a blue, game. and one Prairie Stream because I got lucky and pulled one. Yeah, next up we can ditch that Celestial Flare, these Avon Battle Priests. Suppression Bonds is a decent card, but we don't need it. Uh, Totem Guide Heart Piece, aren't going to need those. Aren't going to need those. Then again, I can talk about some of these. Uh, Celestial Flare. I'm adding stuff, but it's a wonderful card to have if, um, if you don't have the things I'm going to add. It's total, totally worth putting in there and even getting more. Murder Investigation, if that's fancy. Mm, not me. Not because uh, just because this deck is flying, but if it wasn't, it's also a really decent card. Healing Hands, don't need that. Turn to Frog, another one you can get more of if you're uh, interested. Um, again, it's a completely fine card, I just had a different idea for this deck. <laughs> and sorry, uh, my first 
our first video of the kind, so I didn't realize I wasn't doing it in the proper, or f best order, I should say. I already added those. I'm going to show you what to take out and then what to add, basically, all in the end. Claustrophobia in the deck. Another fine card you can leave in there, if you like. Negate's only coming out because I'm adding better counterspell. Don't need the wilds. Don't need this Stratus walk. Water Corsair is terrible. And the two rares that are in here. Uh, Almaherit, uh, High Arbiter, flying. When he enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose the name of a non land card revealed in this way. Your opponent can't cast spells with the chosen name. A 5 5 flyer for 7. Uh, just costs way too much for what it does, and that late in the game. Probably not going to be able to take anything from them that's too substantial because their hand probably won't be too big. So, yeah, that comes out. Uh, this guy, Soul Blade Jin, 5, 4 3 flyer. If you cast a non creature spell, creatures you control get 1 1 till end of turn. Just adds prowess to all your creatures. Again, it's a fine card, um, but I've got better things to put in here. Yes, we keep the fairies, by the way. It's 1 for a 1 1 flyer when uh, fairy enters the battlefield, uh, ah, when Fairy Miscreant enters the battlefield, if you control another creature named Fairy Miscreant, you get to draw a card for 1-1 one, one Flyer. Cannot complain. Hydro Lash. I chose to leave this in here simply because uh, it can really help late game if your opponents are playing uh, smaller creature decks. And uh, lets me draw a card. I end up adding one too. So, <laughs> that being said, all of that come out. Very little is left from the original deck but its strategy remains intact. So, let's start with the creatures. Find them all. Alright. So, as you can see, we already got four Fairy Miscreants and four Thunderclap Waverins. Just got to boost all my flyers. The whole deck is flying. Just for flavor, I added a uh, Orator of Ojutai. Got it as a promo. Uh, he has as an additional casting cost. You may reveal a dragon uh, from your hand. If you do, you get to draw a card when he comes in. He's an 0-4 flying defender. Pretty good. This guy. Love him. Stratus Dancers. Four of them. Uh, flying Megamorph. Whenever, you, uh, whenever he's turned up, um, you get to counter an instant or sorcery spell. If Megamorph puts a 1 1 counter on him with the Thunderclap Waverns boost, he can be deadly. Also adds a counter spell from a creature. Very handy. And then the big boys 3 Sun Scorch Regents. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a 1 1 counter on Sun Scorch Regent, and you gain 1 life. Just get that out on turn 5. <laughs> get ready. Have some fun. Next big guy. <coughs> and uh, the last of my creatures. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 19 creatures. 3 Icefall Regents. Uh, flying, when Icefall Regent enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature does not untap during its controller's on tap step as long as you control him. And uh, spells your opponent's cast that targets him costs 2 more colorless to cast. Another deadly card. Gotta have it. Oops. Gave it a bump. Giving it a bump. So those are the creatures. Um, right there, that is, I will take those out of there. Uh, it's 19 creatures. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All flying. Uh, might not look like it's much, <coughs> but the one ones you're going to be doing with those fairies and those stratus dancers just really add up if your opponent doesn't have flyers. It It's just constant quick damage, as well as always being able to control, which you will see with my, the rest of my spells. So let's go ahead and move those creatures out of the way. Time for spells. Um, these, this can be really anything you want it to be. Uh, end hostilities and planar outburst. Um, you can do two of either one, one of each, however you have. This is just what I was able to trade for. Um, they destroy, this one destroys all non-land creatures and it has the awaken cost. And um, this one is just destroy all creatures and all permanents attached to creatures. So, just a, a way to wipe the board if you need. Next up, counter, some counter spells. 
I thought was probably the best one uh, available for the price. And that would be adding four Clash of Wills. Uh, counter target spell unless controller pays X. You can boost it to whatever you need to. Very handy. You can use calculated dismissal if you like. Um, I'm actually debating whether or not to put some of those in here. Um, and that one is counter target spell unless your opponent pays three colorless and if you have two or more instant or sorcery spells in your graveyard you get two scry two. Also very handy. Again, not the best card. These really need to be Ojutai's command, but uh, I'm kind of a budget guy and I have not put my my money where my mouth is and bought those guys yet, so I'm going with this Hydro Lash for now, but if you have the money or the cards already, Ojutai's command all the way in replace of these. This one's in here also because I just have one. Nice card. Quarantine Field can come in extremely handy. Uh, it enters the battlefield with X isolation counters. Uh, for each isolation counter, you get to exile one target non land permanent. Awesome card. It's like super pacifism almost. And then next up, a card that most people. A card that most people would not necessarily want to play because it's cheap, it's old. I run four in almost any deck I have with white. It's pacifism. That's an old one right there, but there's a newer one. But I run four. Stops my opponent's creatures. It's that simple. Do not discount that card. Uh, next up, gotta have some creature protection. We got feet of resistance. And this is put a 1-1 one, one counter on uh, target creature and it gains protection of your choice on a turn. This can be uh, center of soul if you want it to be in that one is uh, gains protection of color of your choice for the same mana cost and has rebound. So, either or. This one will rotate out first, so I will be switching to that. And then, oh yeah, last two. Just two cancels. And these can be any other counter spell you want. Preferably the one with Awaken. I just haven't, uh, I haven't gotten that yet. And that's the deck right there. Um, it's just a counter control, all flying all the time. And I've done really well with it, but it's done pretty, uh, pretty poor as well. Uh, last Friday I went one and three. Two weeks before that I went three and one. So it's really hard to tell. And I was just very slightly altered it. And again, this can be much better with some Ojutai's command, some added cards. And uh, talking, if you're more of a budget player, you can do a lot of things to this. Um, you can do a lot if you're less of a budget player. You can add uh, Dragon Lord Ojutai if you feel like spending a lot of money. Um, absolutely. That one I, I do not have. I have the, the much worse version, which I'm not even going to dig out because it's not even worth seeing. I can't remember what it's called. Ojutai Soul of Winter, something like that. Um, but yeah, if you, if, you have, if you have some more high dollar cards, absolutely put those in here in replace of some of these lower guys. But uh, personally, I think Stratus Dancer is a must have. Just adds that fear of an additional counter spell. Your opponent will always be thinking, what does he have in his hand? It's going to have multiple ways of counter spelling. And um, if you don't, if you can't get the Icefall Regents, Sunscorch Regents, things like that, it can be Sarah Angel if you want. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not the best. Uh, and you can absolutely use the uh, this guy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having three of him in here if you just aren't aren't able to get the other cards. So there's many ways this thing can work and be effective, and and just completely control a game. Uh, so that is the deck right there. Um, comments. Would love to hear them. I would love to hear what you guys think. This is my intro deck alter for. Uh, As I was saying before, I was very rudely interrupted by my uh, camera's battery dying a second ago. Um, that was my intro deck alter for Take to the Skies from Origins. Um, and you know, the only reason I used my shitty digital camera was because I got a tripod that works with beautifully. I don't really feel like holding my phone like this and then doing all this with one hand. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, this is my sideboard. That was what I was going to get to. Sideboard being... You got, uh... Orator of Ojutai. Uh, two more of those guys. Fate Forgotten. That's just Exile, Target, Artifact, or Enchantment. Got Feet of Resistance. Uh, put one, one counter. Extra one of those. Uh, learn from the past. If opponent's going to mill you. Target playoff shuffles his or her graveyard into her library and draws a card. That can be a lifesaver. Uh, psychic Rebuttal, just an additional cool counter spell. Counter target instant or sorcery spell that targets you. Uh, if you've got two or more instant or sorcery spells in your graveyard, you get to choose new targets for that spell. So if your opponent's running a burn deck that targets you, swap them out. 
um, turned to frogs, said you could keep those in there, definitely in my sideboard. <clears throat> those could be replaced for something better though, as well as Fae Forgotten. And uh, that guy's not necessarily needing to be in there, but just got him in there for it. Need some space to dig up. Uh, dispel. You could put three of these in the deck if you wanted. Again, if your opponent's uh, going to run a lot of instants, then uh, definitely get more of those dampening poles. So I'm going to probably put one more of, of those in the sideboard when I get them. I'm going to swap the turn to frog, swap a turn to frog for it. This is creatures your opponent controls get minus one, minus zero. That literally saved me. Uh, Last Friday in a few games, my opponent was only able to do one or two damage every turn because he was running a uh, Burn Prowess deck. But yeah, um, that was it. That's my sideboard. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. MTG. Fucking rules.